War Eagle, good morning. Hey, thanks for your patience on this. Uh, we, we, we hired two different sets of coaches who um, had to get on the road and recruit. It's a very busy time of year, and so getting everyone together at the same spot and getting all of you together was a little bit of a challenge. We appreciate your patience, and I know a lot has already been written about the folks that we're about to talk about this morning. But I want to talk just briefly about Jordan Zabo and then let you have the, the real thing and let him come up and talk. But as we went through this process, it was, it was pretty clear that Jordan Zabo was a guy who was a winner, could develop players and recruit players. He's a two-time national ITA coach of the year. The combination of the fact that of his coaching background, the fact that he played in the Southeastern Conference, had 73 doubles victories, along with 56 singles wins uh, from 2012 to 2015, was a factor for us. Somebody who has played this league, somebody who's coached in this league, and I, I, I know this might seem arrogant to say, but to compete in this league in any sport, week in and week out, is the most competitive thing in all of amateur sports. He was a part of coaching three consecutive SEC championships. Um, was part of, on a staff that won the 2024 national championship. And when you talk to women's tennis folks around the country, the first thing they will talk about is his prowess as an evaluator in the recruiting process, which is critical. There's two parts of the recruiting process. Recruiting is talking young people into coming to your institution. Evaluation is picking the kids you want to talk into coming <laughs> to your institution. And both of those things are different, um, but they're both equally important. We talked to former student athletes who competed for Jordan and asked them specifically about player development. It was unrivaled, unmatched. Um, and then we got to meet Grace his wife, who was also a Southeastern Conference athlete, a soccer player at Texas A&M, and could see, yes, indeed, Jordan is an outstanding evaluator and recruiter. <laughs> so all that said, I could go on and on and on, but in a very short coaching time period, this man has created quite a resume. And I would love it if you would welcome the 12th women's tennis coach at Auburn University, Jordan Zappa. Too kind uh, speaking there uh, about me, but a few people I'd like to thank first, uh, obviously Athletic Director John Cohen, uh, President Chris Roberts, uh, John's team, a few, there's too many to name, but a few specifically, uh, Lee Van Horn, uh, Janan, uh, Courtney, Gay, Bill Shannon, and, and the rest of the team uh, for the opportunity that they've given me uh, to be here today and to lead the women's tennis team, and uh, I'm so excited to be a part of the Alden family. Uh, in my short, brief time here, I've gotten to know a bunch of people and learning and meeting more people every single day, but what a place this is to be a part of, and uh, Auburn's a special and magical place, and I'm so lucky to be here. So I can't thank all those people enough for trusting me and giving me this opportunity to come and help build on the success that, that we have here. Um, I'm gonna bring great passion uh, to the job and to coaching and to tennis and high, high standards and I know what it takes to win and um, that's what I want to do here. I'm going to recruit the best players that I can, uh, work tirelessly every single day and like I think something that's really important is I'm going to bring great consistency every single day with uh, 
all those things that I was talking about, but just being the same kind of person and being myself every single day. Uh, in 2024, I think some people aren't like that, and that's something that I'm going to always do and uh, always going to bring. The tennis team's had a lot of success over recent years, and that's something I want to build on, and uh, I want to get us in the hunt every single year to win, and um, to win championships, and to bring titles back to Auburn. So, um, yeah, I'm, I couldn't be happy to be here. My wife, Grace, she's not here today, but we're so excited to, to be here full time and um, living on the plains and uh, getting this thing to work. So, War Eagle. Any questions from me? Hey, Jordan, I'm Justin with the Football Properties. Um, just when you were talking with John and, and anyone else you were talking to about taking this job, just what jumped out at you about Auburn, or is there maybe one main thing that really made you want to come here? I think the traditions and the family, uh, obviously, speaking to John and his team, the, they know what it takes to, to have a winning program and, and their kind of vision for the program, but I think it was just being here, being in the SEC, and uh, just the family kind of culture and, and how real people were here. So those were the major things. I know you can win here, you see it uh, around campus and golf winning a national title here recently, track and field coming second. And uh, if you can do it in those sports, you can do it in all sports. So uh, that's that's the major thing for me. Um, you mentioned you guys have been on the recruiting trail a little bit. Just what, what are some of the things, the early pitches that you've had to have been on? What are some of the things that you sell about all? Yeah, I think that this is a place that you can come and be really successful, uh, create great value for your future um, as a tennis player, but also as a student. And, um, you know, this is a place where you can come and it's going to change your life. So uh, those are the major things. I'm, I'm looking to give the ultimate tennis experience whilst you're in college. So that means with the training and you're developing and um, the whole holistic thing of being a student athlete. And I think no one, nowhere does it better than, uh, than all of them. I've been a lot of places and, uh, you know, this place, what they, they provide to the student athletes is second to none, and um, what, a, what a great place to do it in, you know, close to Atlanta. Um, for, you know, for a tennis player, it's so crucial to be able to travel worldwide, we're recruiting worldwide. So uh, those are the major things I'm selling, and, and just selling if you want to come be a, pl a part of a place and a program that's going to do everything right uh, on a daily basis and give ourselves the best chance to be successful. Um, I don't think any program is going to give a, a better tennis experience than that. Jason Paul undercover. You mentioned President Roberts and, and, and John Cohen and, and his staff. Mm -hmm. We talked to, to people that, that are in the building and said, look, there's there's a everybody being on the same page feel. Mm -hmm. What was your impression of that? You know, as you were kind of working through the process, did you feel that hey everybody's pulling in the same direction? Oh definitely, definitely. When when I came here to, to visit, I got to meet with a whole lot of people and it was the same message, family, uh, winning and, and graduating student athletes. So uh, everyone's definitely on the same page and, and the thing I love is like a lot of people talk about family and stuff But they really were living it, you know, they were all joking around spending time with each other outside of the, out of the office and or working tirelessly it was, it was a weekend and I'm sure they had other things they'd rather be doing but they were all there and, and had a great attitude and, and were really uh, Positive about the future of this place and I was fortunate when I came here. It was actually uh, The men's golf team had just won the SEC championship. So I kind of got to see them Rolling tune was down the corner. It was awesome. So um, just to see the, the passion and pride that everyone has for Auburn, um, it, yeah, they're definitely everyone's on the same page. And um, yeah, it, this is such a time to be here. Jacob Go of ESPN one hundred six seven. You talked about consistency is what you were going to expect, what you're going to bring. What does that look like to you um, in matches, off the court? You know, just with the team, with the program. What does consistency? I think it starts like on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I always tell the players, you know, we're the SEC champions. Like this is your Wimbledon. My Wimbledon's like the morning individuals with the players, and um, that's where I just really think that I can bring great consistency. It's all in the preparation of the players and uh, giving them a, a great product day in day out. And I think that's something that I can do. Is you know whether we have an amazing weekend, a tough weekend, I'm gonna come back to work and put the. Um, put in the work on a day-to-day -day basis and not change things too much, um, not get too high, get too low. So that's what it looks like for me. And uh, just being myself all the time, you know, not trying to be someone that I'm not and um, bringing my great passion for the game and my high standards, no matter if things are going great or we're having tough periods. So um, for me, it's, it's the day-to-day -day and just the consistency of chipping away and the recruiting and, and trying to get the best players here and, uh, you know, doing the things that it, that it takes to be a good tennis player and, and a good tennis program on a daily basis and being relentless in that.
Yeah, obviously a, a unique situation in terms of like how many spots are available um, to be a part of the team. You know, we've committed a few players who we can't announce yet. Um, they're not through compliance and everything like that. But I think it just speaks to Auburn, um, this place that all the girls on the roster that uh, no one entered the transfer portal or anything like that. They're all coming back to Auburn. So um, we have some tremendous players who are coming back who are some of the best players in the country. And I think. You know, not only Auburn, but you know, me and the staff, what, what we're kind of providing to the student athletes, they want to be a part of that. And I think that's really, really cool to see, especially, like I told you about in 2024, it's, it's not like that in a lot of places. So the credit to Auburn and, and I think, you know, what we're going to provide them. So um, we're out on the road, we're, we're recruiting hard. We're, we're looking for the right players uh, all around the country, all around the world. Um, already been over, seen a couple times, going back again this weekend. So. Um, we're going to be relentless trying to find good players that can help us compete straight away, um, but also with uh, some vision in mind of the future and making sure that we get kids that are going to give us great success year in, year out, not just, uh, just, not just to survive this year. So um, I, I, I predict we're going to be um, one of the top teams in the SEC straight away and um, give ourselves um, a chance to be in the hunt, and that's what we want to do every year. Yep. Jeff Shear, I think it's just uh, <coughs> to learn that the way that we do things can work. Um, you know, everyone in life has some insecurities or doubt about things, but I think it just reinforced that if you just stick at it um, and do the right things day in, day out, good things will happen. This was the toughest year in my coaching career by far. We started off the year real average. We were five and five. We were preseason number two. We were outside the top 20 at one point early in the year. And, um, you know, we didn't think we were doing anything real different than, than we'd ever done, and I think we just got back to <coughs> making sure that we're just doing the right thing day in, day out, and not worrying about the results so much, and just trusting that what we do, and I think that's the biggest thing that I learned, that, you know, we always were preaching this adversity we're taking to help us as long as we kind of stick to the same process that we've always been doing, and, you know, what we preached worked, so um, I think that was the major thing that I learned, that uh, you know, if you trust in what you're going to do and what you want to do um, to be successful, that things will work out um, and, and good things will happen if you've got the right players and, and the right culture. So um, that was the biggest thing that I learned. So we're playing shot with balance. Um, you know, obviously an unusual situation kind of coming into, you know, the team was succeeding when the coaching team was making things. You did, you know, they had a good season. How do you kind of balance trying to keep what was working but obviously you're trying to implement your own coaching culture. How do you balance that? Yeah, I, I think it'll be um, something that I'll be able to learn more when the players are on campus. No players are on campus this summer. They're all off doing you know, individual pro events and different things that you're allowed to do in the summer for tennis players. So I think that'll be um, more of a challenge once kind of the school year gets going. But I'm just going to bring in and, and, you know, a good tennis player wants to be around an environment where they're going to be able to work hard and uh, have a program where it's going to be consistent and um, I'm going to bring those things from day one and just learning how the players, you know, what the players are used to. I'm sure there's going to be an adjustment in that, but, you know, I, I think it's going to be a real positive one. So uh, just making sure that implementing this is how we, we're going to train and how we're going to work, but we work hard with our players to um, work with them and, and what their strengths and weaknesses are and, and what they're kind of used to. And I think it's just having a lot of conversations and making sure we're all on the same page, but they're all excited to get to work and um, work hard and kind of how, you know, I've run the program in the past from a tennis standpoint, um, they seem all in on it. So uh, I think the transition, um, while it might be different at the start, of it, I think it's going to be a really good one. Any additional questions? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. War Eagle.